and Court is in the Storm Tracker Center, kind of walking you through your day and the second half of this work week. We've seen some big swings in terms of temperatures recently, Court. We certainly have. Kelly, today is no exception. It is brisk outside this morning. It's going to be below average this afternoon, but not to the same extent that we had yesterday. And the other good news, we don't have that active weather chance like we did yesterday either. In a look outside over the last hour from our Tuscan Butte camera, you can see this is from a camera that's located just east of Red Bluff in Tehama County looking to the north. We do have clear conditions for the most part early on today. Checking in with what we're going to be seeing early on. Frost advisory for Trinity County through 8 a.m. Freeze warning for Modoc and Siskiyou County areas due to those temperatures that have dropped substantially overnight. Right now, we're hovering in the upper 40s to lower 50s across the valley. 40s in the foothills, mostly 30s in our mountain zones, but a few cities in the low 40s. Wouldn't be shocking to see a city or two dipping into the 20s in our mountain zones early on today. So something to keep in mind there. Chico did drop off. The reporting site went down about an hour ago. We're hoping that's back up shortly. That's why you're not seeing the data here. Wind out of the northeast up to around 5 miles an hour this morning. Throughout the day today, we're looking at wind gusting maybe to 20 miles an hour out of the north along I-5 this morning. Lighter winds projected for the afternoon, and we'll start to see south winds developing over the next couple of days as low pressure starts to take hold, but it's still north winds tomorrow as high pressure builds in. Gusts tomorrow up to 20 miles an hour out of the north, so a little stronger than today, and temperatures are warmer. That's going to be a bit more of a concern for fire danger. Weakening winds towards the afternoon tomorrow, and then it's south winds in that 10 to 15 mile an hour range late this week. So not a huge impact from the wind, but nonetheless, it plays a big role in how dry we are in the north winds today and tomorrow, leaving us with low humidity in the afternoons and a concern for fire danger. Satellite and radar, clear skies overhead now. In the wake of that active weather we saw rolling through yesterday, we were tracking that for you from this low pressure that's tracking into northern Nevada now. We have another wet system to our north that's keeping our high temperatures in check for today, and then high pressure building in is what's going to be driving the warm up for your first day of summer tomorrow. So today the last full day of spring and what we're seeing out there spring like overhead with plenty of sunshine, sunny skies at noon and 8 a.m. So you're going to want the sunglasses, but the jackets this morning by noon, you probably don't need the jacket. Temperatures warming up nicely today and then some patchy cloud cover in the afternoon might see some scattered mountain showers, but not expected to make its way into the valley today. Tomorrow we're clear overnight into the morning. Plenty of sunshine for that first full day of summer with just a few limited scattered clouds tracking across our higher elevations. Late in the week, low pressure tracking inland to our south drives more cloud cover and the chance for mostly mountain showers inland. You're going to see that Thursday and Friday, Saturday and Sunday, still the chance for more mountain showers. Something to keep in mind if you're planning on camping this weekend could get a little wet out there. Today, temperatures topping out in the low to mid 70s for the northern mountains, 60s to low 70s in the Sierra and Southern Cascades, foothill areas in the upper 50s to low 70s this afternoon. And if you're in the valley today, it's upper 70s to low 80s, 80 in Redding, 79 for Red Bluff as well as Chico, 78 for Orville. So warmer than yesterday, but still well below average for this time of year by around 10 or more degrees. Warming up Wednesday in your storm tracker. Seven day forecast for your weekends always in view. The first day of summer, upper 80s to low 90s in the valley. Then it's mostly 80s on the way for Thursday, low to mid 80s Friday. Back to the mid to upper 80s for your weekend with partly cloudy skies. Kelly, we do look mostly dry in the valley, but mountain showers not out of the question late this week into your upcoming weekend. So again, keep that in mind and overnight lows mostly falling into those 50s over the next several days.